Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's Down and Dirty was a request. Uh, I think it was from one of the Ryans. Forgive me, I cannot remember specifically who asked. But the question was, could I expound a little bit if you guys saw the Down and Dirty on how to grade with an excavator, which if you haven't, you can click above. Um, but after that video, someone asked me if I could expound on techniques to keep your hands uh, level to where you can dig level. And so I'm set up in a location here where we've got it relatively flat in front of us. We can also dig on a slope coming uphill. And we can also dig on a slope coming downhill at us. And so let's talk about a couple different techniques we can use um, to dig flat and level. <clears throat> so we're going to come at this from, I have not started a grade whatsoever here. So we're going to establish a grade. Uh, when I'm establishing a grade, what I will generally do is I will boom and stick all the way out like I'm going to do a pass, and, but I will leave my bucket a foot or so off of the ground, and then I will start to stick in. And once my bucket gets down to the level I know I want to be at, that's when I start using my boom to actually catch it and hold it level. So let me demonstrate what that looks like here, and let me make sure my camera's set up to where you can see me at full reach. Okay, we are. Okay, so what I would do is I would reach out like this, and instead of trying to immediately, right off the bat, pull a perfect level pass, what we're gonna do is we're gonna just start sticking in. And I know this is where I wanna be on grade, is right about here, so let me go back up. So once I get to that point, that's when I'm gonna start pulling back on my boom to catch it. So we're gonna stick in until I'm where I wanna be, and then I wanna catch it. And now all I'm doing, this hand has not changed how fast I'm pulling the stick. I'm not messing with this hand, it's gonna stay at constant speed. The only thing I'm changing is my boom speed. So let me go back out here. So we're gonna stick in, there's my catch point, and now all I'm doing is I'm tweaking, you can see my boom hand, all I'm doing is tweaking my boom hand. And I'm, I'm overemphasizing right now so you guys can see it. But this is what I'm focused on. This is a constant. So we're gonna go stick in, catch, and now all I'm gonna do is catch it and hold it with my boom. And I'm, and I'm tweaking. There's 90 degrees, so we're gonna pull through it. And now I'm gonna start booming down if I wanna bring it in even closer. That's not the perfect level pass, obviously, because I'm demonstrating. So let's do some passes without me talking about it. Well, I'm still gonna talk about it. You know what I mean, damn it. Don't get me distracted. So stick in. We're gonna go a little bit faster now just because it is hard to grade when you're going super slow. So we're gonna stick in. There's my catch point. And now I'm just tweaking it with the boom. 90. And if I wanted to, I could have gone down there. And so we're getting some nice level passes. So stick in, catch. Now I'm working my boom. All I'm concentrating in is the boom. Stick in, boom up, and all I'm working is the boom. So that is a way that you can do it. Now, and you can see those are relatively level passes. You know, if we were to really take our time and dress this up, you know, now what you can do is you can add a layer of complexity to it. Uh, actually, I take that back. We're not gonna go there yet, guys. Hang with me for just a second. So we're gonna do one more, one more pass. So stick in, now I'm booming in. Concentrating on that boom. So now that we've got it level, now we'll talk about another technique you can use. The other technique you can use is, let's back up a little bit here. So we have an area in front of our pile that has an established grade. So another technique you can use to pull grade is, you can go forward, sorry, bugs everywhere. So you can go forward to your established grade and we're gonna start pulling straight and level on that grade without impacting that grade. And now I know I'm pulling on grade, so when we hit our pile, all we're gonna do is continue to do what we are already doing. Our hands are already set, so we're gonna follow our existing grade. And then we're gonna just pull right through. Don't, you know, pretend like there's not even a pile. You don't have to focus on seeing your grade. You already know where you're at. We're just gonna continue to pull that existing grade. 
And again, similar to what we were doing back there, I'm using my boom to control my depth. My stick is staying pretty consistent. Now, obviously, the more advanced you get in this grading, uh, the more you're actually gonna start working both hands to where you are changing speed with both. But at that point, it's no longer an active thought process. I'm not thinking about what I'm doing with my controls when I grade anymore. I'm just, you know, similar to, I've talked about it before. You know, when I reach back up here and I stick my hand out and I wanna grab that monster. I'm not thinking I need to extend my arm, I need to move it to the left, I need to grasp it, and then I need to pull it back and go to my, you know, none of that happens. I just know that my arm needs to reach out, I need to grab it, and I need to bring it to my mouth. The similar thing is gonna happen in the machine to where the longer you grade, the more, the, the more time you have in the seat, you're no longer gonna be thinking about catching it with the boom and controlling your boom speed and all this. Your hands are just reacting. And so what happens is you get to a point where, you know, both of my hands are gonna change pace a little bit depending on what I need to do. And you can get those flat passes and you saw in that one, I was actually pulling my stick back a little faster. You know, there's different things that will change as you progress. But for starting out, the two techniques I would use is first of all, like we said, stick in and then catch it with the boom and just go nice and slow and use that boom to control your depth. And then the other thing we talked about was, you know, follow the existing grade until you establish your hands and then just carry it through. You already know what that bucket looks like when it's coming at you flat and level because we've established that out here. Now just carry it through. You don't need to worry about it when you run into the pile and you don't need to worry about it when your cutting edge disappears because you've already got your hands set. So the same thing works when we're digging uphill. So again, let's, let's start sticking in. We're gonna catch it with the boom. And now we're gonna have to pull back on the boom just a little bit faster than we were when we were going flat and level because we're coming uphill. But again, you can see all of my control is in my boom here. So let's actually dig a little bit. There, we've got a nice bit of grade pulled. Let's do it again. Stick in, catch it with the boom. And now we're just controlling with our boom. It's a very easy way to catch your hands and set it up. So down, catch it with the boom until you're running at the grade you want. Lots of rocks in here. So that's how you can do it there. Now let's spin around and we'll come downhill towards us. Now what you're gonna have to do is actually boom down a little bit faster. So we're gonna stick down. This time, I'm sorry, I said that wrong. We're not going to boom up as fast because we're coming downhill. So we're gonna go forward. Let me get this drain tile out of the way. That's all garbage. So we're gonna start with our stick out, stick in, catch it with the boom. And we're gonna boom down a lot slower now because we're coming downhill. Just like that. Stick in, catch it with the boom. But I'm not having to boom nearly as much. And there you've got some nice flat passes coming downhill. We can match them. And there you go, you got a nice flat pass. So, uh, like I talked about in my previous video, when it comes to pulling grade in an excavator, obviously this is a learned skill. This is one of the harder things to do in an excavator is, is learning what it looks like to dig flat and level, let alone how to do it with your hands and get those set. Uh, at the end of the day, this is a great technique but there's nothing easy, there's nothing that's gonna make it just super simple to pull grade. Unfortunately, this is a learned skill in the excavator. It's just gonna take some time. So the biggest piece of advice I'll give you guys is, obviously don't get discouraged. Everyone struggles with it at first. If you've watched my vlogs before, you know that um, even still I get out on jobs and sometimes I dig too deep or I have a hard time staying on grade and maintaining it. It happens to everyone, even seasoned operators have their days where it's a little difficult to pull grade. So it is not an easy skill. Stick with it, you guys will get it. Uh, I hope this has been helpful as always. If you guys have questions, feel free to shoot a comment down below. I'd be more than happy to answer your questions. Until next time, guys, we'll see you guys later.